Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again and I want to tell you about my favorite way to communicate with any single actor in the scene. I want to show you that you can actually talk to anything and everything with a few simple clicks that is easy to understand and trigger with everything. So if I run into this gun, all right, I pick it up as soon as I shoot. I have something in this white cube that tells me, hey, I'm a white cube. I have something in my level blueprint that tells me, hey, I'm a level blueprint. And I have this light actor that is going to turn purple. Everything with one shoot. Level blueprint, I am the white cube, lights. So I just triggered everything with one single command. And that is it. So how did I do it? I'm going to tell you in a second. First of all, again, like and subscribe. Here are my socials, my details, and we should start with this video. Perfect. I am using interfaces, blueprint interfaces. This sounds very challenging, very demanding, but it is actually not. I most of the time have the problem that I want to communicate with any other actor, but I just don't know what to cast to or what to go to. So we are going to create a right click blueprint, blueprint interface. We're going to call it tut shoot. It is important that we remember that tut shoot. Perfect. We save it. We open it up. Now this function, just give it a name that you remember. It is going to be a tut shoot, right? It's it's it doesn't doesn't matter. All right. We compile. We save it, and that's it. You can give it outputs, inputs as much as you want to, but for what I want to do, I just want it to be an event handle. I just want it to react to something. What I mean with that, I can sh quickly show you over here on my trusty mirror board. So I want an action to trigger something to trigger a reaction somewhere else, not in somewhere else. I don't want to transmit any data. I can't transmit any data. I can show you how, but right now I just want my action to trigger a reaction. And this is exactly what my interface is going to do. I have this intermediate guy, right? My inter my interface intermediate guy. So my action is going to respond to the interface and my interface is going to respond to somewhere, to anywhere I want to define it and give it the values that I set up in this interface. Right now it is just listening and repeating, nothing else. To go on, so I want to keep it simple. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we created touch shoot, touch shoot, we compiled save. This is all great and good. I have a little setup in my weapon component. This is just the Unreal Engine weapon component. Shooting is right here and I just intersected. Let me get rid of all of this so we can do it from the beginning. We're going to class settings. We have interfaces, implement interfaces, add an interface, and we have tut shoot. We got this, right? Compile save. Now, if we drag and drop out, we want to have a, we want a call for action. If we shoot, we want others to respond. Tut shoot message, right? Tut shoot message. Perfect. Now, if I shoot, a message is going to be sent into my interface, but it needs to know where. So an additional step that you can do is give all of this a filter. So action filter who is going to respond, bring that to the interface and the interface distributes again. In this case, I don't want any filter. I'm going to say, get all actors with the interface. Everything that has my interface should receive this message for, for each. So every single actor with my interface that I called tut shoot is going to receive this message. Right now, not a single soul has my interface implemented. So if I just run it, nothing is going to happen. Okay. Nothing's, nothing's going to happen. Let's start with the level blueprint because a lot of times I want to communicate with the level blueprint. Open level blueprint. Again, same class settings, imported interfaces, tut, tut, shoot. Here we go. Important compile and save. So now we don't want to send a message. We want to receive a message event tut shoot. Perfect. If we have this blueprint interface symbol, we're good to go. Print string. 
I am level BP tut. Save, compi compile, and we are good. Let's try it. I am level BP tut. There you go. We just communicated with the level blueprint without any casting, with just one simple function that we named and then actually forgot about. And that's all there is to it. And we can do this with everything else. I want to create a light. Okay. Again, same with this light down there. Blueprint, blueprint class, actor. This is going to be light tut, light tut. Perfect. Add a point light to this point light. Sure. Compile class settings. Again, add tut shoot interface. Perfect. Again, compile again. We go into the event graph and we want to respond, which means event tut shoot set the light color to a cozy blue. Every time we receive our message from our distributor, which is tut shoot. Let's place light tut in here. Delete the old one. Let's place light tut in here. This should turn blue as soon as we fire the gun. And it turns blue as we fire the gun. So we now know we can talk to the level blueprint. We can talk to the light and the same goes actually the same goes for any other sort of actor as well. This cube red in, for instance, has tut shoot perfect com compile event tut shoot. And it says I am the white cube. Compile, save again. All right. And if we shoot now, I am level blueprint. I am the white cube and the light color has changed. You can trigger anything. This is just imagine it as a trigger. And this is my favorite way for communicating between blueprints, sending some signals between blueprints. It is not the most sophisticated way. So there is value to casting and everything. However, if you just want to send messages back and forth to different blueprints that want to react to each other. This is a very good and intuitive and quick way, in my opinion. This is it. Thank you very much for your attention. This uh, was hopefully very intuitive, easy to understand. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll try to go over it again. But in the meantime, support me on Patreon if you want to like and subscribe. If you can, here are my details and websites. Business inquiries are in the description below and until that, we see each other in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.